What up, everyone? <laughs> I'm just only messing around. All right. In this episode today, uh, we are going to try to find the main last three pieces. However, we are actually somehow unlocking this one right here, as you can see. So, and this one here. It seems like we're unlocking two at once. <laughs> well, mm. <laughs> looks like we have some pieces, right? Necessarily, we don't find the important stuff. So, as you can see, the little image of a butterfly that sits right here, that is because now, now that is, it is because, um, the only reason for that is that it's silhouettes. And just remember the last time how quick I was on the silhouettes? Do you guys remember that? So. Let's see if I could do this again. Let's see how fast I can do this. Sounds like I got a lot of frog in my throat there. Mm -hmm. is irritating. Well, who cares? <laughs> Let's get the heck out of there.
Okay, I see. So we're going to actually, for the very first times, this is the very first time. All right. So now this time, we're actually putting together whatever this is. So we're going to go ahead and combine it, and we have collected uh, the moon. So we did had salt. <clears throat> Not that I need it, you know. So the rarities, let's see what we got. You have gathered one collections, you completed stage one of achievement. <clears throat> the champion. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Further research of this object might reveal some mysteries the Twin Moons hold. Maybe even their connection to the Tesseract? Hmm. Oh, it's a sweet satellite. Ha! Awesome. All right, cool. You probably noticed by now, but in case you haven't, let me remind you of an interesting fact. With each completed research assignment, we gather enough important data for you to lab for our laboratories to able to synthesize or craft, if you will, a unique item you can use to boost your efforts in the further research of Half Halfwood's portals. Cool! Awesome! Alright, so now this one... So this is the next thing we're going to be doing. So we need to locate the sword as soon as possible. Only you can do it. <clears throat> so we need to locate that. Um, <clears throat> a sword is missing, which is never a good thing. Please help me retrieve it before something unseemingly happens. Yes, sir. <laughs> if you will. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, forgive me. <laughs> there we go. It was a little harder than I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> excuse me for a second. Or at least a minute. I need something for me to sit on. And my phone is about to die. And I need to plug it in. You don't need to hear that. I guess that's the last thing you don't need to know about. And I happen to say it, so just forget what I said. And let's continue on here. And there we go. Cool. Alright, so, so by the looks of things, um, where do we need to go is one thing. What is this? 
some uh, objects are harder to find, and sometimes you might need your friends to help. Add the wanted objects to your wish list so that your friends can see the objects you need and send them to you. You can add objects to the wish list from the collections window. So we can actually do that, but I don't have anybody that I can think of right now that has this. So if you guys are playing this along with me, and if I'm looking for a particular item, and, and you happen to have it, you need to write this down. My profile name, you, you might have to do this, um, just in case, uh, which is player, the word player, uh, P-L-A-Y-E-R, and the rest are numbers. So one, write these down. So you might want to you might want to write these down just in case if you're playing along. One, six, two, four, one, six, five, nine, six. Again, player, P-L-A. Y E R one six two four one six five nine six. If you want me to repeat that, leave your comment below and I will do that on the next episode. So that if I'm looking for something you can actually hand it to me when I have it on my wish list. So, just keep in mind, when I actually do that and you see that, you have a way to get, uh, send them to me when I need one. Or whatever I'm looking for. Alright? <clears throat> so, as you can see, that the harder they are, that it, the harder it is for me to... Uh, send it, or the harder for me to find one item I'm looking for, the harder it is for me to assemble it. So, alright, the portal isn't going to open under its own power, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, which is a, it is a sad thing. So, you must collect all four pieces that comprise the barrier between this world and the next. So, as you can see, statues will do talk to you through the portals after they're completed and after you interact with them. So, so this one here, there's three pieces, as you can see, which it sits right here. And what this is, it's a... Uh, It's a world of um, a challenge world, so we're not going to go there. So I'm going to tell you what that is. To unlock the secrets of the of this brain teaser, okay, you will have to gather the quintet quintet of segments. Then the world of challenging and rewarding puzzles will quite literally be at your fingertips. However. We are going to not activate that. Even though it will show that we can, we're just not going to do just that. Alright? So, we're going to focus on unlocking this right now. Um, the next step we are going to go is right over here. You know what? It's a new area. You know what? Let's see what we can find. You know? You can't complain, right? So, what is this? Oh, it's this right here. <laughs> Whatever this is, this is a piece of, of From the Fra collection. So, meaning, we can. We can actually collect these, you know? So, 
So now let's go ahead and get the heck in here, huh? All right. So we need the frost stuff, which he is literally. No, he's not holding it. Oh, the jewel, of course, it sits there. Stuff. Where is that? F what does it look like, really? No, that's not it. Crocodile, clear, right in view. This is so strange. I am not familiar with Egypt stuff. So, hear me out on that one. <laughs> wait, this is it right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. What is this on the floor? Uh, oh, <clears throat> so happens to be what I was looking for. A snake bracelet. What? You're joking. A snake bracelet. What a joke. Wow, a gold plate. I might have seen that somewhere. Yep, yeah, of course. Indeed, right where I said I saw it too. That's not what I thought it was. I thought that was a, uh, a snake's bracelet. An oil lamp. This is something I do know. What? They're all different types of these. <clears throat> so, it could have been that right there. So, yeah. So, like I said, oil lamps. These are something in different ancestors' types. So, that I'll tell you in a little bit. Because I know a little bit of history about oil lamps. So, just keep in mind, I'll be telling you about that in a little bit. So, <clears throat> um, snakes, bracelet. All right, hear me out. Where is it? Running out of time too, so uh, I need to I need to book it here. Well, you know, I'm gonna use the moon. <laughs> it so happens to be I just did indeed looked at it. That is hilarious. I did look at that. That is funny. So we didn't get what we wanted, so mm. so it's a little bit of luck in this game. <laughs> and a piece there and there. So we need just one more. <laughs> we need one more to unlock this right here. And this is the piece we need. <clears throat> So, 75% more. Or, well, a quarter, which is actually 25% left. This one over here, one out of five, a four out of five, we need, well, it's 80%, so. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, let's go in here again. And it looks like this is... So, this is at 33%. Wanderer. <laughs> portal, portal progress. Well, what are... And these are the only two pieces we need right here. But, we're not going to do the brain teaser, like I said. I may do that off screen, but I'm not going to do it on screen. If you hear me out. <clears throat> Alright. Um, so, in case you notice this is several times in a row, um, they do move stuff around. So, the things you know where they're at may or may not be in the same area. 
So just keep it in mind. Say there's a vial that I found that I was I was looking for that too. Um, a jewel like this right here. I honestly don't know what this this is. Hmm. And uh, as you can see, you notice there's several things that have been moved. And you can notice that the oil lamp that sits over here, even though it was sits right here before. So you can tell differences quick right off the bat. Um I honestly don't know what this is. Okay, so that's that. It's so weird. What is that? Well, we found that. There's one more thing, and it so happened to be something I don't know of. And what is it, really? It is something I don't even know what it is. And what the exactly am I looking for? Where is it? Oh, what? It... <laughs> I thought that bird kind of looked suspicious to me. Okay, so we finally get this piece this time around. And look at that. We get salt. Alright, done. So we get salt back. That's not bad. Alright, now, we're going to sit back and uh, kind of look at this here. Keep this up. You show great promise. That I do. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and complete that. <clears throat> Your efforts are paving the way to bigger, ever bigger challenges. Cool. So, this portal is ready to go, so now all we have to do, and this one's ready, but... We're not going to go to that one. We're going to keep that the way it is now, but on off screen. <laughs> okay, this this guy is hilarious. <laughs> oh, okay, so basically what he is contemplating in case you notice, he is a little suspicious of what's going on on the other world that they, he doesn't have access to. So, what he's got. Who goes there? Huh, just kidding. <sighs> Please, don't take it to heart. Meaning, what he's saying is don't take it too harshly. That's what he's trying to say there. I've consulted with my brother. The Guardian. We have come to the conclusion that something unusual is at play in the half-world. We both urge you to accept the role of neutral investigator and help us uncover what's going on. We can count on you. So, basically, we're going to go to the Eternal Garden in today's episode. But, we have enough time, don't we? Yeah, we do. So, let's go. Congratulations. You have achieved a new level. Number four. 
and my energy has been refilled. And not only that, our energy has gone up. Unlock now. <clears throat> Pangola Garden. Pagada. 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 Okay, but I can't be good, eh? Pagada Garden. All right, cool. Alright, you have unlocked three portals and completed stage one of achievement, Portal Parag Paragon. It, it, that's exactly it. You can go full. Done. I mean, wow, what's taking our coins away? Oh, that's why. Okay. For some odd reason, in case you don't notice, that every portal needs to be unlocked by a certain amount of coins, in case you don't notice that. Oh, what? You get stuff from this you're joking! Paints? You're joking! <laughs> oh, that is so ever cool! Okay, I was trying to figure out why are they glaring the way they are, but you know what? You get stuff from them. However, how long? You have acquired a ward by using some tools. You're Tinkering finally paid off. Your journey has begun. Once charged, this reward, this award gives you. Oh my. I'd wait exactly eight hours for that. That's cool. And we get ten. Um, uh, lightning bolts or energy actually is what it's called. So here. Once charged, this award gives you a random collection item. Cool. So it just gives you a random collection item in 12 hours. Pathetic. And this guy over here gives you 30 stars, which is experience. Experience is needed to advance through the game. So that's pretty, pretty, uh, Clever. So the more stuff like this we get, and these holes will precisely help us out. So in this area, who do we interact with? Because it's pretty dark in there. The enchanting beauty of the Zen Garden is perfect for rest and meditation. Which so happens, I am one of those people that can really do really intense meditation, so. When I really need to. <laughs> Precisely. What? Who are you? I have, I have been expecting you. The wind and rain 
whispered softly in my ear of your arrival last night. A dark storm looms over my garden, but I'm exhausted from battles. Please help me restore this garden to its former glory. Yes, that, that's the temporary savior of the half-world. He might shed some light on your quest. Thanks. Exactly what I needed. You know? Come on, man. Alright. <clears throat> they say the road to hell is paved with good intentions, but good deeds are surely steps on the stairway to heaven. That is indeed true. I like him. Okay. <clears throat> I can't complain about that. So, looks like we need to look... Okay, so it's a spring of healing water. This poor bird must have been hurt in the meteorite, meteorite shower. She needs some healing water from the fountain. Huh. Healing water from the fountain restored this withered flower instantly. Healing water isn't re reaching the bowl. It's not filling up. Um, as you can see, that the healing flower, the healing water, actually restored the flower to its former luster. So, that means everything around us is dead. Pretty much, except for the ones that are on the screen. Which is right here, and over here, and then over here. So, <clears throat> everything around us looks dead, almost. Like this tree right here, that looks like it's dead, so. And this right here, that's strange. But there's something over here, though. Oh, good lord. This maze must symbolize the path of wise man. How? So, it looks like it may be a bit of a puzzle over there, but there's something over here. Some birds have made the shrine their home. Hey. Hey there, little ones. Where's your mommy? Okay, so their mom is over here, desperate for water. Oh, what's over here? This is a tiny Zen garden. It seems the stones should be arranged to a tower here, but some of them are missing. Oh, good crap. Okay, so that explains it right there, but Hero is quite small. The hero was quite welcoming. He even said he he respected me. Okay, what else do you want me to do? Okay, so you're gonna just do that? Cool. Now what? Oh what 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 I could use this for the fountain, but it it, it just won't break. Um, so now what am I going to do? The but, uh, but, but, uh, stat statuette is facing back. It seems to be part of the mechanism in some way. Well, yeah. But how am I going to solve that? I could use this, use this for the fountain, but it just won't break. Oh, it's going to talk about this. Ha! Huh, what am I do? Man, what am I missing?
so Huh, nothing happens. Ah. Uh. No? Really? What about the birds? That's not possible. I'm trying every possible way, as you can see. Okay, so... What am I supposed to do? I'm going to use one hint and see what I need to do. Oh, excuse me. I did not see that. She leaves. Okay. As you can see, I'm just clicking on everything, you know? It's just, it's just weird that I can't even see where half the stuff is. So, I might have to end it off here. Because I clearly don't see. Well, before I end it off here, I'm going to use one hint. Oh, clearly, I have to talk to the guy. You can't break the bamboo with your, your hands alone. It's a proud plant. It respects strength. I'll give you my katana to cut it down if you bring me some tea leaves. Go now. How many do I got? Two? And he needs three. So... I'm actually going to try to find this last one. Yeah. Alright. Cool. So... Hmm. These smell beautiful. Thank you. Here. Take my katana. And use it for good. Set. So now we're going to go ahead and use this on that. Now we've got a bamboo. Now I'm going to end it off on a happy note. Hopefully this is the end of it right here. Now, there, now I can help the poor bird. I'll gently move the bird near the healing stream.
my young friend, you have a kind heart. And that will serve you well in this place. Thank you, exactly what I needed. Alright, so we're actually going to end it off right here. Um, because I ran out of time, completely. So, we're actually going to end it off in a very, very good happy note. Saving a life for once. In a game. You can't get just better than that. You can't. You just save a life before they die. You can't get better than that. All thanks to the healing water, healing the bird, while we gently put it in the healing water. That is a good deed right there. So, we have a kind heart according to what he said. So, on that note, we are going to end it off here for the rest of tonight. Um, but I may do one more tonight. If not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am your host, Survival Man 1, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.